And then what was the next venture after IT? IT, from IT was hair school. Okay. Yes, the company I was working for, which I was comfortable with, but you know, making good money, but mm -hmm. miserable, happened to um, move to, decided to move to South Dakota. So they gave us a severance pay mm -hmm. and I took my severance pay and went to hair school. Oh, yes, because wow. that has always been my passion. So I said, I'll take my money and I'm going to hair school. And that's how I ended up. It was a, a big jump from IT to hair. Everybody was looking like hair, you know, but I went for it because that's what I love and I enjoy doing. And I would tell anybody, um, go for what you, I can do hair for free because I love doing it. And I would tell anybody, do what you love to do that you can do for free because you'll be happy no matter what. It, it's not about the money, you know. It's about you in your art, you working, you know, doing what you like doing. Wow, okay. So what about when, 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 when you came into the situation with having to, you didn't even have to open a business. You were thrusted into a situation yes. to open a business. Yes. Tell me what, what brought you to that place where you had to make, where you, you, made, you knew you had to make a decision and you were scared. Yes. But what pushed you to say, I'm going to do it? The Lord, I would say my faith in God. They call me also the faith specialist because one thing about me, I just jump. I jump, I walk on water because I trust, I'm just that crazy to trust God that he will do it for me. And he has never failed me yet as I can see, you know, as you can see. Um, it was my trust. It was my trust in God. I just trust God that he will do it and he did it. I had no business plan. I had no mentor. All I had was prayer. And he let, he put all the pieces together. Um, when it was time for me to get my insurance for my building, I've never opened a business. So I didn't know what to ask for. I happened to be um, by a skirt and the lady standing with me was an insurance agent and was saying, ask for this, ask for that, make sure you get this, make sure. I mean, he put all the pieces together and that's, I'm here today by faith, my faith in God. Wow, wow, that's a tremendous, and you know, the crazy thing about it is, is that uh, we were birthed in faith as well. Yes. But things, things are coming that's going to even be even greater than we ever expected or yes. you imagine. So right now you're building our confidence in mm -hmm making the moves and doing what we're going to do. But, and that's why we came to talk to you because we want you to understand that your story needs to be told. Yeah. Faith, people need to know that faith is faith without works is dead. dead. Yeah. It's dead. Yeah. But people who, who go going out there to lean on the Lord and understand mm -hmm. what it is that he would have for you to do, what you do for him will never fail. Never fail. And if that's what he has to do, if he wants yes. you to do that. Yes. So, um, we talk about your faith. So what about your faith made that so, so possible? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Joshua 1. Joshua 1 says, be of good courage. And he said it over and over, which means you're going to have, you're going to have problems. You're going to have your ups and downs. Things are going to happen. But he said, be of good courage. Don't look to the left. Don't look to the right. Meditate on his word. And he said that you will have good success. Not he's not finna come down to heaven and give you good success. You will have good success if you follow that formula. Be of good courage, which means things are gonna get hard. Be of good courage. Don't look over here what they're doing to the left. Don't look over there what they're doing to the right. I stay focused, meditate on his word, and I make myself prosperous. That's Joshua 1, that's the word. And that's what I follow. So, now that you're open mm -hmm. and this pandemic hits, yes. how did you deal with this? How did you deal with the maneuvering through this? Um, my knees never buckled because wow. I felt like he's a God of an encore. He does it over and over and over again. If he brought me through a whole stroke with no money and opened up a whole salon, he could bring me through a, a, a pandemic. Yeah, like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, and so, I'm still open and still booked. <laughs> still got a waiting list. <laughs> wow. Yes. Okay. So tell us about your family. 
keep talking about your husband. Tell oh, your husband. I have a son. He's um, 18. He's in college. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I only have that one child. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That one child. Yeah. And, and, and your husband? And my husband. He's retired. Mm -hmm. um, and um, he's chilling. <laughs> <laughs> He's also my frat brother, so he's a great guy, great guy, yeah. great guy. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But, you know, when we talk about, you know, overcoming obstacles and overcoming situations, um, and the stroke came, mm -hmm. and it forced you to rethink, to change your whole thought, your thought process. Could you talk about that, the, the thought process that led to the faith base? Oh, yes. Okay. Well, I would start with... Um, I did get a word where someone told me God has, God was calling you to step out, mm. but I automatically thought, oh, they just like the way I do hair. So just because I do good hair doesn't mean I have to own a salon because I was very comfortable. You know, mm. I had a large clientele. All I had to do was show up, do the work, go home. My husband was a police officer, so we were good. And she kept saying, God is calling you to step out. God is calling you to step out. So I said, well, if God is calling me to step out, he'll provide. You know, and I just kind of put it in my back pocket. Mm -hmm. So when the situation happened, I knew <clears throat> that was my time to step out because I had to provide for my family because he was no longer could police no more. You know, he was, you know, half paralyzed. So mm -hmm. that that tragic had me to take that leap and just go for it because I felt like what I have to lose, you know, and if you're a Christian, what you believe in God for, what you go to church for, if you, you know, wow. yeah, do it. What, what we do this for. Okay. So how did you come up with the name? With a hair accommodation? A hair accommodation. I don't know. A lot of people ask me that. It just came. You know, I just thought about accommodating women, you know, all type of way because I'm a very spiritual person. So I'm going to accommodate your spirit. You know, I'm here to accommodate the, the whole woman. Oh, wow. Yes. Okay. So that's where it